we're in the midst of a new industrial revolution. And if the previous industrial revolution was about the augmentation of the human muscle, this one's about the augmentation of the human brain. The machines have arrived and the new currency for competitiveness is data. Any business leader today needs to be able to ask good questions of data scientists and use the information that you get effectively. The first challenge is marketing. In marketing, we are always so focused or traditionally on the brand metrics and what happened. That is the first thing you have to broom. I think you've got to get your sales team, your CFO, and your marketing leader all lined on the exact same business metrics because that is the point. That's why we're all there. Brands that have momentum and are growing are the ones that people love. <laughs> it's amazing how that works. Artificial intelligence is at the core of Microsoft today. And the way we think of it, the role of AI is to amplify human ingenuity, to help people do more. Now, if you think of AI as having three critical components, there's a perception component, there's a cognition component, and there's an action component. If you want machines to behave and act as humans do, those are the three things that a machine has to mimic. It has to perceive as humans do, it has to have cognitive abilities as humans do, and at the end of the day, it has to take some action. You need a champion that can drive adoption of the analytics. In our case, it was the SVP of sales, and she reoriented the agent's um, incentive compensation to drive adoption of this, to try to break their resistance to uh, using analytics, and had incentive bonuses for them using the system. Decades old framework of customer, shareholder, employee is insufficient. It should be customer, shareholder, employee, and society, and you should think about how to do that. Analytics is going to be the backbone of all organizations. They just don't know it. 